We're gonna need a close up of this tag axle working. That's crazy. I honestly did not think he'd be able to get out of here in one turn. get this thing on the road. That is crazy looking. Pretty cool, huh? 605 horsepower with a new 427 gear. Just needs to really get up and go. What's the zero to 60 on one of these things? You know, they do it on every one of them when they test it out, but I don't know. Try to look back there, you can see how everything's smooth back there. Yeah, we're gonna do a little zero sixty right here. Uh, we'll just do the stopwatch. Let me know when you when you get the dig going. I'll punch it. Zero to sixty. Here we go. Yep. Three, two, one. Fifteen. Twenty. There we go. Thirty. Cooking now. We're at a twelve, thirteen seconds. Fourteen. We're at Forty. Forty miles an hour. 20 seconds. 50. 50, you're getting close. 55. 60. 31.4. 31.4. Okay. Uh, that's a driver mod right there. They told you 34. <laughs> well, the engine's working in a little bit too. Got all the sauce. <laughs> this thing rides great. Yeah, we're going 63 miles an hour. Really smooth. I'm in comfort mode right now. This is a this terrible is, road too. A terrible road. Yeah, obviously we have crosswind, and I'm easily holding it like this right here. Um, to be, this goes to show about the easy steer. Um, you can kind of see it's adjusting for the crown of the road. This road right here is really curvy, wavy. It's um, it's a straight road, but the asphalt itself kind of waves and has some dip in it to say the least. You can look right through here and kind of see. So, really, it's a good testament to the easy steer and what all it can do um, right through here. Um, I do have my J brake on high. Can't even hear it. I kind of wish you could, but I'm the minority. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, you know, we really put a lot into our silence. But, I mean, yeah, I guess you do miss that little loud noise, let you know, uh, let you know it. You know, you got to power your right foot, but um, I'm pretty impressed with that zero to sixty. Yeah, I had too. That was, I mean, that's substantial. I, I thought we were lagging a little bit, but I mean, I didn't do nothing any different. Uh -uh. And I mean, I'm probably not your lightest driver. So. <laughs> yeah, the the extra like 500 pounds from us two is really going to slow this thing yeah. down. So hey, what are we what are we, we carrying we, here? We like? got some cargo carrying going on. Tell you what, right here, I'm going to bust old U-turn. I think here. There's no way I could do a U-turn with mine right here. So this is a real test. I don't know, if I tried to do a U-turn right here, I'd be hitting that stop sign. Like, No freaking way. Oh, you got it. That's insane. And the front tire is behind us, so you can kind of come over stuff a little bit like that. That's unreal. I don't recommend doing it, but you got to see in the road. I mean, we don't normally bust U turns or nothing like that, but um, sometimes you this have is to. This a good test road right here. We do a lot of our testing here because this is a town of um, Richard, and it's uh, kind of a ghost town. We got shut down by the government because uh, they used to mine a lot of lead out here. Some of the lead got in the water, so. Really, this is a road that's not traveled that much on, but it's really rough, and you can really put your motor on to the test. So you gotta take advantage of what's your surroundings. Just so, you know, get a rough road, let's take advantage of it, and let's see what we can do. And, um, you know, customer benefits off of it. Yeah, it's a good proving ground, like all those 
car manufacturers I mean, have those torture tests. And, exactly. We don't have a test track. We have Oklahoma roads. That's it. <laughs> you know? And we do it in the same roads you're going to be driving on. So I mean, I'm going 66 right now. Speed limit 65. Not the best of roads. One hand feel very comfortable behind the wheel. And I can just see that like the wheel is not doing anything in relation to the bumps in the road where and you can look at the leaves on the trees you can see the, that the wind is blowing uh you always have a good crosswind coming right through here i don't know why you just do all open fields oklahoma stuff it's always windy here that means that i'm uh, coming up on the stop sign this coach is featured with the mobile eye that's one of our options we'll see where we land on the other side This is weird looking in here because you can feel that you're like just rotating. Now look back, you can kind of see we end up right back where we fell. Yes, what we'll do right now is we're just going to back up so you can kind of see the circle that we made. And then it will give you a real perspective of how tight the turn radius is. Our tire marks of our turn right there. Can you kind of see that in the camera a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, right through there. Kind of back up. Comes around through there. Wow. That shows everyone how tight it is. So that inside is 38 feet in diameter right there. And we're a 45 foot motor home, so it's probably 55, 56 degree cut. Um, but now it's your turn to drive. Oh, dang. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in, uh, in here and pull the brake. And you can see it automatically goes back up. I'm gonna put it back to comfort mode for you. Oh wow, that is easy to turn. Yeah. See, this how easy and smooth it feels. I feel all this brake pedal. Go um, take a right, do a little look around, get used to it, because the steering's gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to. One, the steering wheel's smaller. The steering radius is sharper, and you also have the easy steer. So That's don't true. be scared to put your put the wheel into it because it can turn. This is weird for me looking up at the mirror instead of down, because that's my typical. How do you feel looking up? It's, I'm sure it'd be easier once I get used to it, but like my natural inclination from driving mine is when I'm in a tight area, slow speed, I lean forward so I can see these better and like I can see more like around the windows and everything, but in here I kind of don't need to do that. Turn right or so left. You're gonna go left here. Even this column, just like mine's got the old GM steering column with the thing, and it clicks, and it's real like aggressive when it clicks. in. this is just a, and it's right there. Can yeah, you think about it? It's crazy. I graduated high school in '96. I was born in '96. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And, um, you know, it'd be 25 years isn't that much, but in reality, it's a quarter of a century. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I guess as you get older, but really, this is crazy how far things come along in 90, since 96. You're like, what more could they advance in? But, yeah, I mean, think think about what like a, a Silverado was like in 1996 versus a Silverado now. It, and back crazy. then, it was a big deal if had a CD player. Remember? Yeah. It really cool. And now you don't even have a CD player on these things anymore. You don't even have a Everything's Bluetooth. Yeah, we don't even have headphone jacks on our phones. Yeah, and that whole that whole period is gone. Gone now. Bluetooth. This is Bluetooth. LED. Wow. Everything has changed. A lot of stuff in technology. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's kind of an idiot. You're about to wreck there a lot with your camera. I'm sure that. Now I got some YouTube bits. Yeah, the steering feedback is really well. Like you can you can feel the road through the wheel without feeling making it feel you like you feel you feel like I guess you have more response with the wheel yeah you're more comfortable with it I actually have control like this amount of input actually makes the thing move around yes but on mine I could just then nothing happens you have a lot of play you got a really loose steering but you also have a really big steering wheel That's, yeah but my, my ball joints and stuff are probably all wallered out but it is 25 
25 years old yet again. It don't seem like that long ago 96 was, but it was 25 years ago. Yeah, you can get it pretty good or four if you want. Or 15. Yeah, I mean, I'm just been over here 65, you know, I'm not trying to tell you to get a 90 in it or nothing, but, you know, you kind of feel the response in the throttle and yeah, it, 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 it feels really it smooth. Yeah, you feel picking up speed, but it's not like it's jolting you forward or throwing you out or nothing. It's a nice, smooth, steady. You, you feel like you feel the power, like you have power to go faster. It's not like you're just kind of at the mercy of gravity. Yes. Like a lot of these bigger things. Now, if you want to change the sport mode, um, the, on your right hand, your top, on your top fingertip lever, push it up. And you'll see in that bottom corner there of your uh, odometer reading, your dash, you'll see it change the sport. You'll feel it stiffen up, give it about 30 to 40 seconds. feel a lot more of the bumps in the road, but you're going to feel a little stiffer. We have pretty bad crosswinds here in Oklahoma and stuff, so this was really a bad crosswindy day. A good sport mode, all the way, steering tight and stuff, really will help you. I like, I feel the steering tight, and that's actually like, you feel the, it actually, you feel it more like you're driving like a, a solid tank or something. Yeah, it's yes. all, it's all there. It's like, it's even just hitting that button, it's like going from like a pickup truck to a BMW, like steering wheel, like tension wise, it's it actually does stuff. Yeah, it's not just there to brag about and say, hey, does this and that actually does it. It would be real important, you know, when you're on, like coming through some of these two lane roads on mine where there's not much of a shoulder and the speed limit's like 65, so you're going 65 because there's a bunch of stuff behind you. And then you get another big rig coming the other way or some truck with like a big gooseneck trailer and you're kind of like okay okay you're you know you're we, wheeling to so, just stay yeah. there you, it, that's when it gets kind of hairy but with this, this right thing, here you got more confidence in that so yeah it's it's going to be right where you put it yeah it's not going to do something on you we've constantly advanced over the years um to get to this point it's not like we've made major changes as in CS suspension was obviously a pretty big change. Um, 04 was a big change here for us. We went to uh, the valve slides and stereo tag axle. Um, we'll see a lot about that. But um, we really progressed. Hey, once this YouTube starts rolling, I'll make some money. I'll upgrade my to an 04 so I got steering tag too. Cause that's that was a good year, and you want to make sure if you do that, I had the 360. We went on and upgraded the hubs and everything. I fit the 365 tire. This is a Definitely an interesting environment to have a place that builds two and a half million dollar motor homes just floating around like well, small town USA. Yeah, and that's what makes it so cool, I think. You know, we're located, think about it, pretty pretty centrally located about everything. We were pretty far away from stuff, but you know, if you're on California, I drive all the way back to Florida or wherever to get things done, you know, I mean, the people here are so great. That's what makes the difference, you know, just the people in the town and things like that. That's just, and ma'am, I mean, it's like I say, Newell has been here since it started. That's pretty cool. It's just 13 foot eight clearance up here, but right there, it's labeled 13.5. Yeah, and that's, that's your max ride height. How do you feel about drive? Drive. It feels great. Like I'm all. I mean, we've only driven a couple miles, and I'm already not thinking about it anymore. I'm just driving. Like it doesn't require a whole lot of like white knuckle attention. Just kind of kind of roll with it. For anybody that is familiar with driving a 45 foot motor coach already, they can hop right into one of these and be at home in five minutes maneuvering around town in these kind of tighter low speed areas where a lot of stuff going on and it's not a nervous experience usually that's where it's almost kind of harder to drive one of these things because you have to pay attention more and when you're going slower then the steering input is even less yeah. than it is when you're going faster yeah someday i'll be pulling up in here and build one of these from the ground up that'll be cool we'll be seeing these P50s in for service, like I remember when those were new. It was a nice.
nice road here and it is like dead silent in here. Oh, docker. Stop right here. Alright. I guess I don't have to do that. It's gonna do it for me. It does it, it does it for you, my man. Yeah, I was going to, I'm like, nope, I wanna see how it does that. Pull the brake, put it neutral. Yeah, I do. That's all you gotta do. Well, that was a lot less eventful than I thought it was gonna be because it's just so easy to drive. It's pretty easy, isn't it? You know, I've driven a 2002 and mine, and this is so far beyond either one of those. It's like, it's crazy. You could put somebody in here who's probably never even driven one of these things before, and they would be. That's cool. Kind of, yeah. It's quiet. It's not. As big as it is, it don't feel like it's not intimidating at all. Yeah, no, not at all. How do these drive compared to the the last style P2000s? I mean, they, it's like, you know, you get a little bit better every year, but they drive pretty much about the same. So we had the easy steer and the um, steerable tag and the outer airbag suspension and all that then. I mean, obviously, you know, we fine-tuned a lot of things. You keep doing that because you constantly keep driving to get better. You know, we might change sway bars and stuff like that. Um, we've increased the size in the rear not a couple years back. Um, you know, you're always constantly working with that. And then, that's like I say, you constantly change the tickles, the floor plans. 